There is a piece of advice that pretty much everyone has heard. Probably every person on this planet has heard this advice in their life, but very few actually apply it into their life and very few see the benefits of following that advice. And you can probably guess what I'm going to say. That piece of advice is just be yourself. I remember when I was a kid, I used to hate hearing this. I used to hate, just be yourself. You'll be fine. Just be yourself. Because I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know how to be myself. No one ever teaches you this. And the thing is, it's because you can't teach it. You can't teach someone how to be themselves. And that's what frustrated me. I was a very logical person and I loved to learn, but I didn't always like to find things out for myself. I like to be told like, this is how you solve the math problem and then go solve the math problem like that. I was always that kind of kid. I like to do stuff, but I like to be not necessarily like told what to do all the time, but I like to have a task that I knew what I, exactly the steps I needed to follow and then just go complete that. I enjoy doing things like that. So when someone would tell me be myself and my like 12 year old, 13 year old brain couldn't really comprehend how to do that. Along with all the insecurities and everything that comes with being in middle school, I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know how to be authentic to myself. I didn't have the slightest clue what that meant. And it's only been over the last couple of years that I've really realized how powerful of a piece of advice that actually is. Anything that you want to achieve in your life and any goals that you have can be achieved as long as they are authentic and you be authentic to who you are. As long as you are pursuing something that is genuinely in line with like your soul, you could say, you will be able to achieve it and you will have the drive as long as you're doing something that's authentic to you. And this is kind of where it gets tricky because the advice just be yourself, it sounds simple, which it is like you just have to be yourself. It's simple. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's easy because in our modern day, we are just bombarded with the opinions of other people, especially on social media, act like this, buy this thing. And things are always trying to pull our attention away and tr people are trying to sell us this and make us act like this. And this piece of clothing looks cool. And every time you open an app on social media, there's a new desire that is being formed in your brain and you're being influenced in a new way that you wouldn't have before because you see someone online presenting themselves maybe they're really attractive and they're telling you this is cool which is exactly what i'm doing right now i'm telling you the opinion that i have and that is forming a desire and a input into your brain there's information that is coming into your brain and then you decide if that opinion resonates with you and for most people we've been listening to the influences of other people whether it be our teachers our friends who are not necessarily the best influences for us and then social media tv shows movies and all these different things they've shifted our mind in a way to think in a certain way and although it's just human nature to be influenced by our environment and the things we consume and the things we see and the people we talk to with social media and our modern day it's gotten to the point where most people have no clue who they are and they have no clue how to be authentic to themselves a lot of the desires and a lot of the things we chase in terms of trying to be successful are the goals and the ideas of other people and whether that fits to benefiting a certain company or organization when they're trying to sell us something even if that's like a certain pathway or a career field the modern world is just comprised of sales and mar marketing and that is how things get sold and that is how influences happen but what happens is a lot of people get caught in that pendulum, you could say, and they're under the influence of that momentum and they're thinking they're pursuing a goal that's theirs. But in reality, that's not the thing that will give them the most fulfillment. Because when you think about the things that are presented to us in modern day that we're supposed to have, right, that we're always told having this will make you happy. Most of the time when we get those things, that's not going to make us happy. In the modern day, it's to have all these different products and have all these different things. And we see that life and those things are portrayed as giving us that happiness. But in reality, it never will. It's like if you have a kid in a toy store who sees a toy that's bright and colorful and is just begging their parents to buy that toy, right? And after hours and hours of begging, that kid finally gets that toy. And that kid thought that they wanted that toy, right? But after about a day or two playing with it, they get bored and want something else. That's the way that our desires and things that we pursue often happens. We see we're told to go get something. We're told to go get that promotion or that salary. Then we get it expecting to be happy when we finally get it. 
and then we get it and nothing has really changed we might have more money we might have more things but we're still going to be the same person with the same mindset so with all of this being said how do you go about being authentic to yourself how do you find that thing that's right for you because like i said results won't make you happy it's the means of achieving them that will it comes down to what you do every single day in your life it comes down to the task that you do in the life that you build for yourself not focusing on the results but rather the journey to get there so how do you find what path you're meant to go down and what goal you're meant to have and this is easier said than done it can be something that like can give people like an ex existential crisis or whatever like i don't know what to do with my life but when you actually take some time to think and you're like okay i don't know what to do with my life but when you actually think about it how much time have you actually put towards thinking about what is right for me have you ever sat down for an hour in your room and just stared at a wall until you tried to think what is right for me most of your life you've probably just been far too busy either listening to what other people tell you you should do with your life or just stressing about the fact that you don't know what to do and stressing about it isn't going to make it any worse it's just going to make it even harder to find because you're putting pressure on yourself to find what you should be doing with your life and all that stress is most likely just going to make you make a decision that isn't authentic to yourself and the thing is as much as i would like to and as much as i wish i could i can't tell you what's right for you and no one can it is solely up to you to find what you should be doing because you are the only person who can be yourself you know yourself a lot better than anyone and anyone ever can because no one else lives inside your brain the perception that anyone has of you is limited because they are not you and they don't live in your own brain so it's up to you to make the decision what's best for you and this part will kind of sound kind of wishy-washy and there's not really a concrete answer but once you find that thing, you'll know it. You'll just feel a different way when you do it. And the best way I can describe it is you'll find something that puts you in that flow state. This is basically when you find a task that you enjoy doing so much that it just immerses you in the present moment. You don't necessarily think when you do it. For me, this happens for a couple things. A big one is speaking. Once I start speaking in front of this camera, like I don't script any of my videos anymore. I just turn the camera on, have the idea, like the title and everything, and I just start talking. I do not have a script for this video. It has just been completely off the top. And once I start doing this, time doesn't really time doesn't really pass by like let me check how much i've been recording for 15 minutes and it feels like i just started the last moment and and it just and it feels like i could have started like two seconds ago and it's in these moments and it's in doing those things where you're in that flow state that you're happy you're fulfilled because a lot of the times when we're thinking too much we're overthinking we're anxious about the future what's going to happen but when you're in that flow state you're just present you're just enjoying whatever you're doing and that is the gateway to fulfillment it's doing those things that can put you in that flow state task and this can be hard to find for you you need to try a couple different things to find what's right for you for me it's speaking and music and performing is another one writing songs and like just doing a lot of different things with music is that other side and it all comes back to that flow state and the final piece of advice i can give you in terms of trying to find this is just think of what put you in that flow state as a kid what did you enjoy doing when you were young because right now if you're around my age which is like 18 or maybe you're a little older younger just like starting high school or something when you're at that age you are far too complex of a person and a being to know what's right for you there's probably some times where you've done things where like why did i do that like you sometimes you don't even have like control over your own brain it's like it's been hijacked by all these in different influences around you so you are far too complex of a thinker to know what you like you can't think about it you just have to know it and the thing about being young and when like you're a little kid you just do things that you like you don't care what anyone else thinks you're not like your brain hasn't developed to have those belief patterns and stuff yet you just do what you like and you just know so if you can think back and really take some time to journal or reflect on those memories of what puts you in that flow state you will eventually it may take some time but you will eventually find the thing that's right for you now with that being said if you don't know already my name is colby wallace i'm an 18 year old artist from canada 
And if you like videos like this where I talk about self-improvement stuff and also want to hear some of my original music, you might as well subscribe. I'm not sure what you're still waiting for. And also, I have a free community that will teach you exactly step by step how to discover your purpose and what's right for you. And if that sounds interesting to you, scroll down and click the top link in the description to join. My original music is also in the description. And with that being said, never stop creating, my friend, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.